Peyton Krebs, I saw he blocked a shot out there and he was trying to shake it off. How's he doing? Haven't heard, but uh, by the looks of it, I'm sure he's fine. He possibly has a bruise, but a hell of a play in practice, that's for sure. I was going to ask you, as a coach, I know you love to see that kind of effort, but in practice, do you want guys diving in front of pucks like that? We, uh, <laughs> I guess it's a habit you got to build, and, and so for that reason, uh, I, I don't mind it, but uh, you definitely don't want a guy hurt out of practice, uh, but the compete level was high. I think we have some guys uh, not satisfied with where things are at, and uh, I'll take that as a positive. Was my, my imagination, or was that a faster practice? It looked like there was a lot of speed throughout the practice. There was a lot more intensity to it, which is, uh, again, what what we need, what we need to see, I think. And, and, and when I say we, it's, it's collective. I think the guys take it to heart, and they set the standard, and we certainly elevated it and know that we need to elevate it. It's 10 points in the last 10 games for JJ. Now, what is led to such consistency, do you think? For him? Uh, consistent work. Um, I think he, he has, uh, his confidence has increased day by day uh, over the last year. And I think now he has felt like he earns and deserves more and he's going after it and getting it. And, you know, then on the flip side, I see that, feel that uh, he's got more ice time as a result. And um, so he continues to go the right direction. It's, it's nice to see. When you look at the defensive part of the game, especially in the first period, I know you gave up some goals in the second. In the third, I think it was good at both ends. But in the first period, what went well defensively where you limited them to almost nothing? Uh, let you, you use the word limited, limited time and space. So we closed much quicker, much more decisively, and more as a group of five uh, or a collective two guys instead of one. Um, and, and that makes a difference. So, you know, seconds matter. Uh, when you play in this league against skilled, skilled hockey players. So you give them one extra second and they are going to make a play. And uh, that is something, um, you know, it's throughout the league. So you want to you wanna be decisive when you move. And I felt we were much more so last night. Uh, and it, it, uh, it was seen. Were you more surpri or surprised that didn't lead to more offense? Because normally when you play that well defensively, it does lead to more offense. Were you surprised that it didn't in that period? Uh, not surprised because I thought we needed to be just as decisive offensively, and that's a shot mentality. I think there was a couple situations where we had odd bond situations, and our primary focus was on the pass, pass across, and we're staring at an opportunity at the net. Uh, so, and, you, and that is a barometer of, of is the player decisive? Where's his attention being drawn? Is it drawn laterally as he's approaching the net, or is it drawn right to the net? And uh, again, I felt we we were not doing things that are the indicators of decisive offensively. Uh, but you know, our attention has diverted, been diverted more toward defense, and you know, the positive is we've been better there. Um, but now it. Um, We've got to recognize that we need to be more decisive offensively. How's Henry feeling? Is he to a point where he can play against Chicago? I would expect Henry in the lineup, yes. He's, uh, he, he had a really hard, challenging skate yesterday, went through it well, and uh, competed well today in practice. So I would expect him in there tomorrow. I know you get all sorts of film and everything, but the Blackhawks are a young team. Is it harder to play a young team like that because maybe you don't know what you're going to get from night to night? Well, I, you know, I think it's hard to play any team in this league if you're not ready to play, and that means every team is is more than good enough to beat you. And so these are the games you go into, and, and you um, you know you have to respect certain players. Uh, Bedard being one of them, Seth Jones, they, they have some elite talent uh, that automatically demands your respect, but the way they work uh, also demands it, and you've got to be ready for that.